Got another bunch of questions on the amount of substance topic. These are all multiple choice questions, so lots of fun to be had. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try them first. Okay, so make a start. So the first thing I'm going to do is work out how many moles of gas are going to form. So we know how many moles of calcium nitrate's been decomposed. So the moles of gas, two and a half moles will be produced for every mole of that decomposed. So two and a half times 0 0.005 is 0 0.125. And then to turn it into a volume in centimeters cubed, we multiply by 24,000 and we get an answer of 300. And so the answer is D. Number two, when all of these hydrocarbons are combusted, they're going to give carbon dioxide and water. So using the first one as an example, um, 0.4 moles of C2H6 will give 2 times 0.4 moles of CO2. So obviously that's 0.8. So I've done that for all of them. You can see B is given the most moles of CO2, which is obviously going to be the most volume as well. Moving on to number three, so percentage atom economy is the MR of the desired over the MR of all the products, or you can go MR of all the reactants. I think for this one, it's easier to do product, obviously times 100. Now you don't have to work out all the individual answers, just think about if the bigger this is, the bigger this denominator is, the smaller the final answer is gonna be. Option C is gonna give you the biggest in terms of MR of all the products, because you've got carbon dioxide in there, which is quite heavy. And so that's gonna give you the smallest atom economy. So it was option C. Next one, the number of oxygen atoms in 88 grams of CO2. So the first thing we're doing is working out how many moles of carbon dioxide molecules we've got. Answer is two, mass over MR. So in terms of atoms, moles of atoms, you're gonna have twice as many uh, moles of oxygen atoms, because there's two in every CO2, so that's four. So the number of oxygen atoms is just four times Avogadro's number, which comes out at 2.41 times 10 to the 24, so it was option C. Number five now, so the first thing we do is work out the moles of hydrogen, so 960 divided by the mole of gas volume in centimeters cubed, so that's 0.04 moles. The moles of sodium is gonna be double that, so 0.08. And then to turn that into grams, it's moles times MR, and it comes out at 1.84 grams, so it was option C. Number six, so the percentage composition by mass of nitrogen in ammonium carbonate. Just be careful, there's two nitrogens in ammonium carbonate because of the bracket there and the two outside. So 28 grams of the 96 is um, nitrogen. So as a percentage, multiply that by 100. 29.17% option C. Moving on to number seven now. So I think this is quite tricky, this one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is work out which is the limiting reagent, which chemical is gonna fully react. So if I start with the oxygen, six decimeters cubed of oxygen is gonna need twice as many decimeters cubed of NO, so 12, but well, we've only got eight. So not all of that oxygen is gonna react. So obviously this is in excess. I'll just do the same for the NO just to make the point. So eight decimeters cubed of NO needs four decimeters cubed of O2. When you've got six decimeters cubed of O2, so all the NO is gonna react, it's the limiting reagent. So at the end of the reaction, you won't have any NO left, it's all reacted. You'll have two decimeters cubed of oxygen left, because remember it only needed four, but we've got six. Ratio here is one to one, so you're gonna make the same moles therefore the same volume of NO2 so you're going to have eight decimeters cubed of that made so total is 10 so the answer was B. Number eight so we've got to use the ideal gas equation to get the volume um, of nitrogen so that comes out at 0 0.00259 meters cubed remember that's the volume for the ideal gas equation so we've got basically is it B or is it D? If we multiply this by a thousand, it'll get it into decimeters cubed, so that's not right. It's gotta be B. If you multiply this by a thousand to put it into centimeters cubed, you will indeed get 259. So the answer was B. Number nine, so we've been given the reactant amounts, one of them in grams, one of them in moles. You'll see the reactant in a one-to-one -one ratio. 
So this 0.24 grams must be 0.01 moles. So to work out the MR of X, it's mass over moles, 24, which is obviously magnesium. So it was option B. Number 10 now, so I've made up this equation. I'm not specifying the formula of the gaseous compound just yet. We know that it's 100% atom economy, so all of these atoms go in to make this gaseous compound. So I think the immediate temptation there would be to just add everything together and get um, Cl3F3, which is option D. That's not the right answer, I'm afraid. So we've got to use these volumes to help get the answer. So these are reacting in a one-to-one -one ratio, but they're making three times as many moles of the gaseous compound, which I've called X. So basically, we need a three there. So to make this work in terms of balancing, X must have the formula of ClF, because you've got three Cls and three Fs when you add all the atoms together. So the answer was A. Number 11, so we've got to work out how many moles of each of these chemicals we've got. So it's just mass over MR. So I've already done that. These are the moles. You can see that's the greatest number of moles. What we need to do, if we had to calculate the number of molecules, you multiply all of these by Avogadro's number. We don't need to do that. We just look at that and think, right, that's going to give us the biggest number of molecules. So it's option B. Last question, so I've worked out what the answer would be for all of these um, statements to see if it's a correct one or not. So the number of hydroxide ions formed is that times 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Well, no, it wouldn't be because for every mole of barium that's reacted, you get twice as many moles of hydroxide ions. So it would be 0.02 times Avogadro's number for that one. The volume of hydrogen gas produced is that many centimetres cubed. Well, the actual value is 240 cm cubed because you're going to get the same moles of hydrogen as you've got barium. Times that by 24,000 gives you that. The concentration of barium hydroxide formed is 0.02 moles per decimeter cubed. Well, is that correct? Well, the moles of barium hydroxide produced is 0.01 over the volume in decimeters cubed does indeed give the answer 0.02. So that's the correct one. I may as well explain the last one. 0.005 moles of water reacts. No, it doesn't. It's going to be twice 0.01, which is 